In this discussion, we are going to talk about how you can evaluate your own inflammation and understand that the commonest cause of death in this country, in the United States, is heart attack and stroke risk from inflammation in the blood vessels. But there are other often non-lethal forms of inflammation uh, all caused by the same products, nicotine and carbohydrates. Now we're talking mostly about carbohydrates. And that would be to joint capsules, to ligaments, to tendons, to muscles, um, frozen shoulders, fibromyalgia, um, plantar fasciitis, Peyronie's disease, all of the inflammatory collagen disorders caused by crystallization. In fact, I heard somebody say a beautiful thing is that carbohydrates caramelize your ligaments and tendons. And I just thought, wow, that is such a brilliant description because technically that's what's going on there. And my reference for that is Richard Bernstein, one of the gods of um, diabetes management in the modern era. And he talks about how high blood sugar caramelizes those ligaments. Um, and he's got plenty of references on that if we're anybody looking. But we're looking at joint inflammation. We're looking at vascular inflammation, muscle inflammation, recovery. If you're an athlete, why does it take me forever to recover from um, a long run or a, lo or a race or whatever it is? From GI inflammation, all of these inflammatory uh, uh, situations. So this video is going to focus very heavily on how do I, as a metabolic health specialist, as a clinician, as an MDA PhD, if you walk into my office for a consultation, how do we look at this? The first thing we do is we get a, we get a history. Have you had a CAC score, a coronary artery calcium score? Coronary artery calcium score is critical to tell us how your body is responding to chronic inflammation in your blood vessels. And is there a significant blood vascular inflammation that has been ongoing? The single best test, the single best screening tool for that is uh, um, a CAC score. Do you have a history, a personal history or family history of cancer? Cancer is a pro-inflammatory disease. Cancer is a pro-inflammatory disease. Have you had melanoma? Have you had breast cancer? Have you had colon cancer? Is there a strong family history of those cancers? That tells us about the trend of inflammation in your family. So the history is very important. Do you have autoimmune disease? 82% of the pe people, of the females, the women that come into my practice, are on some sort of thyroid medication, almost always Hashimoto's disease. We'll talk, there's another talk coming up about Hashimoto's, but do you have autoimmune disease? Do you have lupus? Do you have any other forms of autoimmune disease? Those are all very important. Do you have elevated eosinophils? Eosinophilia, which may be the skin, it may be the lungs, asthma, it may be the upper gut if you've got acid reflux or irritable bowel syndrome or Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. Those diseases are all part of the inflammatory process. So, Part of my questioning when you come into my practice, we're going to spend quite a bit of time looking at your family history, looking at your personal history, and I'm going to look at it in part through the lens of inflammation. Because if we can quieten down that inflammation, that is an ideal game plan to reduce the risk of diseases. Alzheimer's is an inflammatory disease of the brain. All of these are inflammatory processes, but in order to do that, we have to understand them. So what markers do I do? I'll take the history, your family history, your, your personal history, to get to know you as a unique individual, to understand what your inflammatory risk is. Not all disease is caused by inflammation, but a lot of it is. So once we understand that, we'll go and look at some of those inflammatory markers. And on your in your blood work, I'm going to do... Uh, a detailed blood work analysis, none of it is blah, 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 high air. I don't do all the bullshit. You can go to a functional medicine doctor and get tests of every yin yang, ludicrous because it's non responsive. So they're going to do all these numbers to throw medications at you. And the next video is going to outline that. I want to know what your current inflammatory risk is as a baseline and to track it. What are we going to look at? We're going to look at your white cell count. We're going to look at the percentages that make up that white cell count. As I said, we're going to look at monocytes, eosinophils, basophils, and we're going to look at the fractional percentage to determine your vascular inflammation and how your body responds on a cellular immune level and a humoral immune level against those. We don't need to measure all of the immunoglobulins and all the complements. And the, I don't want to know whether your body is currently inflamed. I want to know how your body responds to inflammation.